Hello folks, here's Jonathan and today I'm just doing a new adventure on PGAI and today my challenge is a bit different. So the idea that I want to implement is a simple uh, tracking of semantic distance so we can understand when some new data around a specific topic arrives in the database and we can generate a notification over it. So let's start with a very simple small embedding that we can that we can understand what we are building so let's start with this is uh, this embed function i already have it running here so uh embed is here and i can just try embed something here so let's say i can say i am happy today because i use pgai yay and then when we, we just try this one we got the vector that we need to 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 just do some operation right so in this case it's just trying to get it from pgi sometimes it just delays a lot because the output so huge and you can see here sometimes i think now it was like a network problem because it's 14 seconds but generally it's quite fast so uh i love this product and for example let's say i would like to compare the distance of this thing to uh embed of a satisfied customer for example right so now i'm having the two embeds and i'm getting the distance between these embeds a satisfied customer uh so for example if if i try here um something that's different for example i hate this product and then i can say i am sad today and then you can see that it's uh it's a, a far distance in the in the cosine because it's not related so the idea here is let's build some rules and let's make it work because for example as you can see here it's one second to run this embed because we are getting it from PGAI, but at, after it's in the database, it's quite fast to just get one match uh, against the other. It's like a few milliseconds, so it will it will not be painful. So let's jump into the next step and let's take a look on what we have here. So we generate our vex that is our table with the vectors, and this vex uh, is just generating the vector uh, from the uh, embeddings automatically and then i also have the same for interests and these interests is where we are gonna to play what type of uh, stuff we want to be like tracking and then now we can see like what interests we have like we are interested in tracking happy customers and happy customers hating speech and then people talking about weather this is just a, a new thing I'm trying and let's take a look on how it looks like. So I'm going to create a, a table notifications that is just a, uh, a table that contains a text. And then what we are going to have is uh, we are going to have a function that is a trigger that runs after we insert some new vector. So when we insert something on VEX, we are going to match against all our interests, the vectors of our interests. And then we check the distance. If the distance here is less than 0, 0 0.2, that's like you can see here, for example, uh, this is a real case 0 0.15 and here is like a non-real 0.21. So someone that hates the product. So for example, if I change here to unsatisfied customer, and then we will get like closer distance. In this case, it would not get in this rule. So this is a thing that maybe we need to uh, to to find a way that we we make it uh, it better, and 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 we try to 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 see. So for example, probably I hate the product is much is much closer to unsatisfied customer uh, unsatisfied with the product. So it doesn't mean that it's a pro, it's a customer, right? So maybe unsatisfied with the product is the right way to say. So let's just make it 
this is small change and then let's track a new interest here so we can say unsatisfied with the product and then we also can say here satisfied with the product so this is much closer to the reality and we also have these people talking about the weather and then and then here is the the message that we are trying so this product is very weird and i want my money back i am not satisfied with the product and i want to return it i love the new product i hate this bike and you sold me and so on so let's take a look and ju just run this entire thing so i just run here vector.sql that and recreate everything from scratch so we insert the four uh, vectors here it took three seconds and then we have here all the distance crossing i just put the notes here to understand where it goes and here we are checking the notifications table let me reduce a bit the fonts here so we can see the entire the new product and we can see here that satisfied and unsatisfied is in both sides so maybe this need to be a, a bit more tuned and we can also see here that we can just improve the tree shot so we may just create a personalized tree shot for each one and then check how it goes but the good part is just imagine that you have both vectors on your machine already so it's more about you find the levels of similarity that they need to make it work so yeah i'm gonna to publish it uh, on the pga examples and i hope you enjoy happy coding